on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. While that is correct in part, that was not the tipping point. That was not what caused it. Women weren't just kicking men out of their house to take money from the government. That is just not how this started. This we want. I posted about this in the group. Mm-hmm. It's actually started right after Dr. King died, where a lot of the people that funded, uh, I mean, it was it was it's a full step system. There's there's something that happened in the 60s and then the 70s and then the 80s and then the 90s. It was a strategic system, like it was a strategic plan by the system to attack the black family, because that is when we are the strongest. It wasn't it wasn't like, oh, one thing or the other. It was to attack us both on both ends and after dr king um died it really started with the de- you know destabilizing the people that funded the black movements so i work in a think tank and what we do in the think tank is we take these ideas and we find small groups of people and then we try the ideas out right and we test it to see if it actually works the government do this with everything else. But when we see that this, what is it? They see what this doing. Trust me. They look at black YouTube. They know that it's a gender war and they know that, that we're fighting over the stuff that they put forward to us. Why don't they take a small town outside of St. Louis and then people lobby for this because that's what need to happen. Black people need to lobby for this. And we say we finna take this small city and try this out. And I promise you, if you try what I just said, it will be a dynamic change in that area. And it's nothing that nobody can say to disprove that. Because if you release them safety nets, guess what happens? You release the behavior. That's it. That's all I say on that. Okay. What's wrong? What's wrong, Courtney? Um, nothing is wrong. I mean, I hear what Mr. Logic is saying, and to some degree, I do agree with him. Um, but again, the I guess the safety net that you're saying is child support or HUD homes or anything government assistant. Um, but if we look at the numbers, the the rate that Black women and and Black men are not getting married, the rate that marriage has decreased period doesn't match what government assistance is given the percent of in America. I think it's maybe right at 20% of people in America is getting government assistance. However, the marriage rate of us getting married is or divorce is at 50%. So the numbers don't add up. If we were to take 20% of everybody off government assistance and some that are married and getting government assistance as well, it still doesn't equate to marriages of us not getting married and us getting divorced. So it's something bigger than that. It's something bigger that our nuclear family is not working out. It's something bigger that we are getting pregnant and this is women period um, and not getting married. And it's not saying necessarily that the women that are getting pregnant that are not married doesn't necessarily mean that they're not living with, with, with the baby daddy or baby mama. It's not even saying that, which just unwed. There was a thing that came out, I put it in my community post, where if you look at single parents in America, we're at the lowest, if you actually see it per uh, per country. The highest was like Chile and a lot of Spanish countries. So uh, again, it's a frustration that I'm seeing more in depth than the government and the government. Yeah, it plays a role, but it's just something bigger. And we lost a whole lot from about 60 years and we have to find a way to get it back. And at the point, I'm going to say this crazy. Why? Watch this. Cause we can research this. The point, everything changed was actually under Lyndon B. Johnson when he enacted all this stuff. That's when the American, I mean the black American families took a curve because now they had an option to do it alone. 
And I ain't going to, this, this is a whole deeper conversation than this. And Kayla's shaking her head. But look and see the marriage rates under Lenny B. Johnson when he enacted these social programs. Okay. What was that, a mic drop? Why? <laughs> Well, what do you suggest? What do I suggest? Mm -hmm. We go to the source. We go to the source that changed everything. And the source yeah. that changed everything was that. Where well, you can look and you can start seeing where Lyndon B. Johnson came in office and he acted the great social, the great social acts. And when he acted that, now you start seeing a decrease across the board within black families. And then you'll see where the government strategically empowered the women over the men and they gave them this tool. So now if, 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 if you can research that right now or later on, and if you research that and say, OK, what did Linda B. Johnson do? Now, if that's correct. And you look at the stats of marriages and you see they start going at a decline. Then now we can go to a start point and say, hey, maybe this was put in place for a reason. And then now, maybe if we want to fix anything, let's reverse that. Because at that point, that was changed the game. Logic. Yes. I mean, I came in, you know, kind of late. But yes, I agree with you. And absolutely. <laughs> um, because even that that you just said, like, you know, the decrease in marriage rates and the implementation of certain things. If you look at prison, uh, you know, mass and incarceration and all these things like all of this is so correlated and like how could people not see that these things were all very strategic and purposeful and i yes logic look at you being logical tonight <laughs> no man no. so <sighs> while that is correct in part that was not the tipping point. That was not what caused it. Women weren't just kicking men out of their house to take money from the government. That is just not how this started. This we want. I posted about this in the group. Mm -hmm. It's actually started right after Dr. King died, where a lot of the people that funded, uh, I mean, it was, it was, it's a full step system. There's, there's something that happened in the sixties and then the seventies and then the eighties and then the nineties. It was a strategic like it was a strategic plan by the system to attack the black family because that is when we are the strongest. It wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, one thing or the other. It was to attack us both on both ends. And after Dr. King um, died, it really started with the, you know, destabilizing the people that funded the black movements.